Hey guys, this is Neil McSpadden with the five simple steps to buying a linking domain. So we've gone through the five steps of buying a domain and now I'm going to give you a quick bonus step on footprint elimination. So what we're trying to do with all these linking domains is we're trying to convince the search engines that our target site has authority and trust from our web peers. So to do that, we want to make sure that it's not seen as the same account as our target site. So we do that by using multiple registrars. So if our if our money site or our target site's at uh, GoDaddy, we want to use other registrars like Namecheap or Hover or uh, Bluehost or, I mean, there's a million of them out there. Uh, now, if you go through an auction, this will kind of be taken care of for you because the the winner of the auction will be given the domain on the registrar that it came from. So uh, depending on which network you buy it from, it could be any one of... I don't know, 30 or 40 uh, different registrars. Then we're going to also use, within that registrar account, we're going to use multiple email accounts, multiple email addresses. So if we've got 10 domains in a particular account, you know, it's best if you can have 10 different email addresses associated with each of those domains. And we're going to use multiple names. And we're going to use a mix of privacy protection or domain proxying, depending on uh, you know, what service, what registrar you're using, they call it different things. But basically what this does is it hides your contact information from the general web. And this is actually a major advantage because there's, when you start registering lots of domains, you'll get lots of spam marketing emails saying, oh, you know, you have not submitted your, your domain to our search engine uh, registration page. You, you, you should pay us $80 in order to, to do it. And you'll get all kinds of garbage like that. So it's best to keep that information private so you don't get your email addresses listed on these uh, spam lists. And that's how we eliminate footprints. We want to randomize all these things, all these four different factors. And um, you know, next we'll get into the Q&A. Um, on the webinar, this is where uh, you know we'll continue, but on the recorded videos, we're going to cut it off here. So uh, if you have any additional questions, go ahead and email me, uh, neil at neilmixbadden.com, and you know, we'll talk to you later in the next video series.